The recent rush of cities and businesses pledging to ban plastic straws has heartened advocates who came to the movement after a video went viral depicting a sea turtle with a straw stuck in its nose. But for many people with disabilities, going without plastic straws is not a question of loving dolphins or sea turtles, it can be a matter of life or death, NPR reported. Disabled people have to find ways to navigate through the world because they know it was not made for us, Lay Wiley Mitsky, an autism activist who has autism herself, told NPR. If someone says, this does not work for me, it's because they've tried everything else, Lawrence Carter Long, Communications Director for the National Disability Rights Education. That doesn't leave a lot of room for spontaneity, something non-disabled folks get to largely take for granted, he told NPR. To skeptics who ask what people with disabilities did before plastic straws were invented, the answer is brutally honest, and grim. They aspirated liquid in their lungs, developed pneumonia and died, Sean Bickley, co-chair of the Seattle Commission for People with Disabilities, told NPR. In a post detailing how the plastic straw became the cause of the day for ocean lovers, Do Knives, executive director for the Lonely Whale Foundation, wrote, We found plastic water bottles to endemic plastic bags already somewhat politicized, and no viable alternative for the plastic cup in all markets, so, they chose plastic straws, a playful alternative and a gateway plastic to the larger and more serious plastic pollution conversation, he wrote. Most of the plastic in the ocean does come from land, Darby Hoover, senior resource specialist for the Natural Resources Defense Council, told NPR. Straws are maybe not the biggest source of either plastic pollution or disposable plastic we consume, but there and there, Hoover said. Yet, in general, Hoover said she is wary of an outright ban. I personally think we as a country use way too many disposable water bottles, she told NPR. That said, there are times when I'm caught somewhere, don't have a reusable bottle, and want the option to have water and not a sugary drink. The key is breaking habits, she added. Is something a habit because you truly need it or because you got used to doing it that way? Wiley Mitsky bemoaned the straw ban movement is putting this burden on disabled people to come up with a solution. You're not asking companies that manufacture straws to come up with a version that works for us, Wiley Mitsky told NPR, adding, you won't even take the bus instead of driving your car somewhere. How many of you are willing to die for the environment? Newsfront plastic straw bans in cities and on airplanes can be a matter of life or death for some disabled people, according to an NPR report. Plastic Straws Ban, Seattle, Disabilities, Eco-Friendly, Environmentalists 474 Wednesday the 11th of July 2018 9.24pm 2018-9.24-11 Wednesday the 11th of July 2018 9.24pm Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc.